We play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show. I am your host, Bumpy McSquiggums, and today, ladies and gentlemen, we get a chance to dive in and begin our adventures in King Arthur. Knight's Tale by Neocore Games, releasing today, April 26, 2022, and I've been excited and eagerly awaiting the full release of this game. I played it back in the day when it first came out into Steam Early Access, and I absolutely loved it. I thought it was fantastic, and I did not want to play anymore because I did not want anything spoiled. I want to go through the whole game, you know, on camera, first time for all of you guys, and get the raw reactions all that. You know how I do. You know how I do. Anyway, let's 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 get it. A new campaign. All right, we got you can freely save and load your progress. Probably what I'm going to do because, you know, YouTube. Uh your progress is automatically saved. There's no manual saving, every decision mistake, death is permanent. All right, well, we're going to still try to maybe play like the What is this usually called? Iron Man mode. Uh but we're going to do it this way so I can save when and where I need to for the YouTube videos, of course. All right, uh, story, normal, hard, very hard. Uh, well, we're not going to go story, but let's see what all the different ones have to offer. Enemies are weakened. Campfires during missions restore all hit points or armor, and your heroes always survive the mission. Normal enemies are moderately strong, and campfires during missions restore a large amount of hit points or armor. We have hard. Enemies are tougher, and campfires during missions only restore a moderate amount of HP or armor. And finally, very hard. Enemies are extremely strong, controlled by a ruthless AI. Campfires during missions only restore a moderate amount of hit points or armor. We're going to go with normal. It is the, you know, the default setting, the way the developer intends most people to play it. Uh, maybe could roll with hard, but we're just going to go with this. I want to, I want to experience what they want us to experience. Now, one thing... Just uh, to clarify real quick, because this took me almost two hours to install, which is crazy. This is a huge game, so like uh, about 130 gig to install. Just so you guys know, and you can prepare ahead of time to make sure you can put this on your computers. All right. Wake up, night. You must take up your arms again. This is all very confusing. I know. Focus. Breathe. It will all become clear soon. You were fighting in the last great battle for Britannia. When King Arthur's adversaries marched against the once and future king. You have committed dreadful acts to fulfill your destiny. Do you remember the earth trembling? Can you recall the gathering of terrible armies? You saw Camelot burning and watched the power of magic tearing apart the world at its seams. You led knights monsters into a deadly storm of fury and blood. You destroyed the ladies of the sun and the lords of the winter. You have killed King Arthur and with his dying breath he struck you down. You both die. And yet, you both live. You have unleashed something that cannot be stopped. The tide of madness and pain will swallow us all. I have brought you back to end this nightmare, Sir Richard. I want you to go on a nightly quest. I want you to finish what you have begun. Kill King Arthur. Or whatever he has become. After I took his dying vessel to Avalon.
Okay, yeah, no, I'm here for it. I remember that so being epic. Mordred, living and breathing again. But is he truly alive? I wish I could talk to him. But I can't just yet. Serves him right anyway. Sweet. I remember- I've set this dread night on a dark path. And for now, I can only watch where it takes him. I've brought back King Arthur's nemesis and wonder if I made the right choice. Well, the Mordred did the impossible after all. Almost killed the king who cannot be killed. And that's how the nightmare began. All right. So I remember very, very, very distinctly the trailer leading up to the start of the game. Uh, first time around, just incredible. It's really good. Uh, definitely gets you in the, the mood and amps you up to want to play the game. So I'm here for it, guys and gals. I have been waiting. I don't even know how long. I feel like it's been at least a year. Um, it's out. It's out now. You guys can play it and enjoy it. And, yeah, it's oh, it's going to be great, I think, I hope. I mean, I, I only played maybe like 20, 40-something minutes of the game back in the day. So very small sample size, but absolutely loved what I what I saw and what uh, all went down. Oh, hello. Shrine of the Lady. So the Lady of the Lake apparently raised Sir Mordred. This is the legendary island of Avalon, far, far beyond the realm of Britannia, surrounded by the endless sea of the other world. Avalon is the realm of the most powerful enchantress who ever lived. She has many names, but in Britannia, they revered her as the Lady of the Lake. She was born under the cold waves and ascended to reign over this magical island. She is the immortal who spins the fate of mortal kings and queens. The one who speaks the language of the lakes and ancient forests. She rules the land that was once meant to be a haven for the fallen heroes. The mirror image of the mightiest kingdom in the mortal world. So, yeah, it's, uh, I just, well, just enjoy, guys and gals. Just enjoy. I wasn't actually aware that this was coming out. I, I knew Wait, a few days ago. Who the hell are you? I'm here to teach you some manners, lad. Oh, yeah? I knew a few days ago that this was coming out, but I didn't realize it was coming out specifically when it did. All right, it's so a basic fight. If we want to take a look down there, we can actually check it all out. Uh, it should be pretty par for the course. If you guys have, uh, okay. So it looks like if we enter the zone of control, we will get slapped. Jason enemy. Okay, it's the full square around us. 20% vulnerability. And I can cast that from pretty far away. So do we know how far? Okay, he can move there. How far can we cast this? I, I'm going to try some different stuff here just to kind of get a, a, a base understanding of what we can get away with. So I'm going to try moving here. I'm going to try to hit you with this. And uh, maybe we move down here. And we should be outside of your range now. Alright. Uh, to end turn, do we have a button to do that? Fine. All right. So if you left click, you actually turn your facing to wherever you're left clicking, which is uh, pretty cool. And then uh, apparently, if you left click on the person, it'll attack, which is also pretty cool. All right. Let's take him down. We said good day, sir. Damn, that felt good. Mm. But where am I? I thought that dying can change a man, but I might be wrong. Hey, who's there? I can hear you. Let me out. So one of the cool things, if uh, if you guys care about this sort of thing, like I personally don't particularly love always having a right click around when you have this like top down isometric view type situation. So for me. Uh, there's been very few games that have done this, and very few that have done it well, or fewer still that have done it well. Uh, you can actually move around with WASD, which is uh, glorious, and I really, really, really appreciate that. 
Okay, I'm gonna open up the cage. What is this thing? What is this what thing? Is it worth dying for? Okay, loot. And if we click this, during your adventures you may gather loot from various locations. However, you can only equip and manage your loot between missions or on the adventure map. So, good times all around. You can walk or Open you can... Open the door, whoever you are! Help me and I will help you! Oh yeah? Wait till you see who I are. You're not gonna like it, good sir. I can't remember, was he like Sir Gawain? Or I don't think it was Lancelot, it might be. I suppose we'll see. Well, well, well. Sir Kay. But Sir I know Kay, that. King Arthur's Seneschal. In a dungeon rotting away. A hero's reward. Seems about An right. honest and capable man. But a bit dull. Like an untended blade. Sir Mordred. The Scourge of Britannia is back. Avalon is not a place for your treacherous kind. Locked up in a cage, whimpering, just as I remembered you, okay? What the hell's going on here? Calm down and talk to me. Yeah, let's get him to calm down. Are you real? Or just a ghost? Tell me, Mordred. Do you remember killing me? Can't say I do, no. And yet, here you are. Speak. You're quite upset about dying, yet you seem to be very much alive. How so? Help me escape, traitor. Then we may talk. Uh, hmm. That, that doesn't seem real smart on, on my part. Seems like he might want some vengeance. Uh, you promised me help if I set you free. How about that? What is this wretched place, anyway? So you, a knight of the round table, ended up here behind locks. Pitiful. You promised me help. I keep my promises. I will help you, Mordred. All right. The powers that rule this land decided to trust you with our fate. I don't know how to feel about that. But soon, you must make your very first decisions. Well, what is this wretched place, anyway? I've already told you. Avalon. No, you didn't. The Island of the Fallen Knights. And this is Castle Camelot. If you're playing tricks on me, I'll break your bones. This is our castle? What? This hovel is Camelot? Yes. Not the one that you remember, though. Hmm. Alright, I'll open the door. I mean, I don't I don't know how much help you're going to be with no equipment. Hey, but at least you had this cool little uh, desk. And uh, some candles. Some, some stuff on the floor to sleep on. I mean, you know, uh, as far as prisons go, that's not too bad. Great. Uh, that's my arm over there. Just finally lay in there. I feel more useful now. You think a sword makes you less useless? Uh, we must get out of here. Go to the door and let me handle this. All right, whatever you say, man. Rascals! I told you that you will pay for this. What the hell is he doing out of his cell? What the heck? Surprise! Surprise. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's up, guard? Ah, uh, you done been backstubbed. Alright, so we could technically attack twice, but since we can't, let's go ahead and hit him with this. And let's get close enough to him that we can actually do something. Alright, what is this? Steal 75% weapon damage? Okay, and then we want the 100%, of course. Sir K. Very nice. Big hit with That's that big it. sword. I was just getting warmed up. Mm, brilliant moves, though. This game is awesome. I, I really... Oh. oh, I've been waiting for this for so long. I'm a little disappointed. I, I was I was really hoping to... Uh, I don't know. I was hoping to be able to get maybe a, an early start, a little head start on uh, other folks getting their, their hands on it. But I didn't want to run with the, the early access build. I was hoping to get the 1.0 build. And it just never really materialized or came my way. I, I guess I it, it's on me, too. I could have reached out. I didn't. I was I was hoping that they would reach out, having sent me the, the code prior to this. Who left this behind? I don't know, but it's going to be our reward. This would have been another fantastic opportunity to actually have. Because, like, 100,000% in my wheelhouse. Right up my alley. This is the Warden's room. Prepare for battle. Uh-huh. 
This is 100% my alley, 100% something I would love and would want to cover and would absolutely cover. Uh, this would have been a fantastic sponsorship deal, uh, sponsored video for this, but alas, nope. It's not a thing. All right, what are we looking at here? We're going we to scare him? All right, so we, we start getting options here, if I recall Sir correctly. Kay, you are really persistent, but I can't let you walk free. You don't have much choice in the matter now, oh, Warden. It might not be this one. It's it's the next battle where we start really getting some choices. Reserve. All right, let's see what this is. Consume all remaining AP to save some for the next turn. Oh, yeah, that's right. We could have done that. The hero will get 1, 2, 3 AP for 1, 3, 6 AP reserved. All unused AP will be automatically reserved at the end of your turn. All right, let's head over and let's slap a fool. Good job, Sir Mordred. I'm just gonna leave I him there. Ready. Slap the fool again, and we're just gonna end it. Oh, this dude just kind of walked into me, huh? All right, so we should be able to get two swings off here. One, two, and we still have a. Oh, well, I could have started with that. I, I didn't. All right, so I need to be a little bit more mindful. So the AP is down here. It shows that we can have up to seven. I could have hit him with the 20% vulnerability to the target, which would have lowered his or increased our damage by 20%. Uh, I don't think it still would have mattered too much, but it would have been a, a smart thing to do. I am ready. And I did not do said thing that could have been smart. All right, we're going to end here and just kind of spread it out a little bit there, I guess. Let's see if this is enough to actually take him down with a single swing now. It is. All right, maybe it would have made him a lot of more deferrals if we did it. Oh, we have to back find that. the one who is truly okay. in charge here. So there are backstabs. Okay, so flanking in some capacity exists. All right, I didn't remember that. That's good. Treasure lost and found. Okay, so far so good. I think on finding all the treasure that we could. Chest ahead. Uh huh. It looks like when we get close to stuff that we can interact with, it does automatically highlight. I'm trying to press buttons right now to see if anything like gives us a always highlightable thing. All right, so we got an accessory, but again, we can't use any of the accessories or any of the items that we do pick up until we're between missions. Well, you know what? Maybe we can do it now. I think it said between battles. Maybe it's between missions itself and on the adventure map. So I think we're still technically in a mission, so I don't think we can do it now. I do believe it was mission. All right, this is where we get to start Careful. doing some tactical stuff. It's quite stuff. a crowd. You know very well that diplomacy was never my strong suit. Okay, so here's a predictable battle. Exploring the area before the battle rewards you with information. The more deployment areas you discover, the more tactical options you will have when combat begins. You can select any area discovered for deployment. So... If we walk around these places and we don't walk into them and we're not detected, then we actually get choices as to where we want to deploy. It's like if we walk across this threshold right here, this is probably where we're going to deploy, by the way. Uh, if we walk across that threshold right there, we'll be immediately put into battle because I guess at that point people will detect or hear or whatever us. I like this aspect. I think it's a pretty cool uh, little addition or thing. This seems less good than the other side. So we're going to go back the other way. As I said, I figured that was going to be the best thing. But I wanted to have the options to go basically anywhere. Alright, so if we click here, I would just, okay, just like what I kind of expect. Time to earn your share of glory. Alright, then we have the deployment. And this is exactly as we would figure here. Deploy areas are marked by red tiles on the map near special combat encounters. Entering such zones allows characters to choose their initial positions before the battles begin, or the battle begins. 
Uh, select the hero one by one and then place them in the green area by right click. All right. I believe I'm going to go here and then we're going to Sir K here. I think Sir K hits a little bit harder with his double handed sword. So we're going to try to lean into that. And then once we're done, we just hit finish up here. Your Highness. I'm going to step up and I'm going to say, Good day, sir. <laughs> And then, yeah, I think I'll just, I'll relax the, the AIP situation there. Overwatch. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize that we could Overwatch. That's actually pretty outstanding. Uh, overwatching doesn't make a lot of sense right now, though. So, all right, we're going to do that. And, yeah, we'll just end the turn. One AIP is reserved. We're going to get shot at. We blocked it. He's going to get close, but not within range to actually take us down. Ready to fight. You cannot reach. Unfortunately. Time to feed the ravens. Time to feed the ravens. All right, single hit. Follow up hit. So I think we can over that we can overwatch here. Which is pretty cool, by the way. Okay. We got shot. We it looks like we could escape battle maybe from here if we wanted to. Awaiting your command. But I don't think that's a thing that we need to do. We'll take you down. And we're gonna scoot up. And we're going to step up, and we're going to say, get smacked. Oh, we, we hit him for what more than we should have. these soldiers serve anyway? Interesting. That would be Sir Toelan. Lead me to him. I want to explain him that this is my castle now. Nice. Yeah, we're just going to walk off. All right. It's going to be another big old nasty battle. Check out the guy with the big old double-headed axe. Double bearded so, axe. You are back as well, traitor. Oh. You probably don't remember me. I wish I knew what you are. I don't even care who you are. Eh, we'll go with I wish I knew what you are. I am just a walking corpse cheated out of his death. And I will make everyone suffer for this injustice. Proud words from a walking nameless corpse. He is... he was Sir Tuellen, a once noble warrior with two sons, both knights. Is King Arthur here with you, walking corpse? He is not. The unholy storm wrecked the ship that brought the dying king to Avalon. He can't be dead, otherwise I wouldn't be here. And the raging tempest, something was waiting for the ship. And then the darkness took the king and all of us in its embrace. Creepy. Arthur is beyond the Bridge of Sorrows, dwelling on the accursed land of midnight. Look, spare me the poetic rubbish. Tell me where he is and I will let you live, or whatever you call this existence. Whatever you do, you need more than a blade to break my curse. Yeah, we'll see. Worst case is you'll keep on lamenting after I take your head. Oh, we're just, uh, okay. Just like right on into it, huh? Let's say a little something to get into it. I don't, I don't know. It's fine. Oh, we got, we got, we got issues. All right. Uh, it's going to be fine, probably. Okay, we didn't do a tremendous amount there. So I might have been hoping. Take that. All right, send the turn. We're gonna get shot in the back. Yeah, I know. We're gonna block it. It's gonna move up, and I think we're fine. It's Your time highness. to utilize this. I wish I had more, but I do not alas. For my Camelot. Too late to run now. 
Ah, I should have done it again. See, sometimes I'm just dumb. It's fine. All right, I'm going to have to remember this. I'm, this is going to be one of those things I'm going to have to break. I'm just so used to only being able to get, like, the extra two attacks off. And I am, I'm not doing the very, very simple math to make that not a thing. So, again, that's 100% on me. Apologies. I think I'm just going to kind of hang out here a little bit. He didn't swing on me. That's weird. I, I want to. I, I want to bring this boy down. That's that's the plan right now. Take this guy out, and then we finish off his uh, compatriot. All right, let's go. Let's get him. There it is. We just shrugged off all damage, and now we have a little baby throne that we can sit in if we wanted. The battle is over, and you must make a choice, Mordred. This is merely the first in a chain of similar decisions that will eventually determine what kind of leader you will be. Nice. Tell me, what will happen to Camelot? Alright, so we have Bloody Boar and Golden Lion. I've decided this is my throne room now, and with my band of selected knights, I will fulfill my destiny. I have been chosen by the Lady of the Lake as the protector of Camelot. I will not take this throne, but I'll make my round table and take on this quest. Oh, you know I'm, you know I'm all about that nobility, all about that honor. I mean, sometimes I'm a bad guy. Most of the time, I'm a good guy. Look, that is that is a that is quite the image right there. Probably gonna be what the thumbnail looks like. To be 100% honest. All right. Ah, oh, I've, I've been so waiting to play this. Ah, oh, so happy. I'm so eager. I am Mordred, and I was reborn on the mystical island of Avalon, the resting place of the Fallen Knights. The vision told me my purpose to find and destroy King Arthur. I woke up in a ruined castle, a reflection of the real Camelot. This is now my castle. I am still trying to understand the nature of the powers that brought me here, but meanwhile, I have a new realm to build and an old enemy to kill. Alright, we got ourselves a plus 2 HP accessory. Uh, the Trophy of Bloodletting. Plus 2 turn bleeding duration. Okay. Uh, Wrestler's Oath Stone. Plus 2 damage against knockdown units. And an Energizing Oath Stone. Plus 2 damage during the first encounter after arrest. Looks like we got some cool stuff going on there. All right, guys and gals, this is probably roughly where I broke off at the very first early access episode is right around here. Maybe a little bit further, maybe a little bit less, but right around the spot. I will endeavor to get another episode out tomorrow, and then we'll move forward from there. Uh, like I said, been very, very eager to check this out and to play this and to see how it all comes together once it is fully released. And that time is here and now. If you guys want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, or any of that stuff down below in the description of the video, there'll be various links. I really hope you guys do check out the game. It is incredible just from the little bit that I played again now, uh, remembering how much I really, really liked what I saw and how I can't wait to play more. Uh, subscribe, like, share, you know the score for YouTube. And until the very next episode, I have been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play... We fight, we conquer.